Okay, so this girl Mia is traveling to a campsite that's 52 kilometers away altogether. What is she planning to do? She's planning to bike part of the way and canoe the other part of the way, but her speed is different. When she bikes, what is she traveling? 13 kilometers per hour. 13 kilometers per hour. And when she canoes, what's her speed? 8 kilometers. Okay. We need to come up with an equation. All together, how far has she traveled? So we know that it's going to be equal to 52 kilometers. Something is going to be equal to 52 kilometers. We don't know how many kilometers she biked, but we do know the speed. So she biked for 13 kilometers per hour. Let's make x the length of time she spent biking. Plus, what would it be for canoeing? Yep. 8, we'll call it y. OK, all together, it was 52 kilometers. This will tell us the time she spent biking, and this will tell us the time she spent canoeing. We want to know different possible combinations, okay? So if she biked for two hours, let's say, how many hours can she canoe for, and so on. Because we need to find different possible combinations, if we put this on a graph, we can find any single point on the line and interpret it. Okay, so let's do x-intercepts and y-intercepts so we can graph it. So x-intercept, set what equal to 0? Good. And y-intercept, set x equal to 0. And we're going to use the equation 13x plus 8 times 0 equals 52. And then here, 13 times 0 this time. We're making x 0 plus 8y equals 52. x equals 4 hours, and y equals 6.5 hours. That's one possible combination. So if I plot these two points on a graph, I have the x-intercept was 4, and the y-intercept was 6.5. We connect these two points and we use a ruler. You can now interpret any other points on the graph. For example, one, and where does this hit the line? Five. This is another possible combination. You can check by using the equation 13x plus 8 y equals 52. Does this make sense? If she biked for one hour and canoed for five hours, does that add up to 52? Yeah. What's 13 times 1? What's 8 times 5? 40? No, it doesn't work. So we must have read this point wrong. It's hard to see on this graph. You guys got to do it on your own graph. Use a ruler and check the points, okay? Okay, this does not equal 52, so this point is actually not on the line. I misread it. Made with DoodleCast Pro.